I'm here to tell you, like I've been telling you, these people are going to face prosecution. They're going to face serious jail time, and some of them will face the death penalty. There is no other way forward. And as Brennan Dilley has often pointed out, this is a zero-sum game. Trump declared war against them, and they know that they are facing life in prison or possibly a death sentence. They know that. This is a winner-take-all game. Trump is either going to prosecute them and put every one of them in jail and probably have a lot of them executed, or they are going to come after him and kill his family. There, that is how this ends. Either Trump wins or they win. And this is, this is a battle to the death. It's a zero-sum game. And if you do not think that those people are going to be prosecuted, you do not understand what the stakes are. The stakes have never been higher. And in a game like that, where the stakes are that high, there can be no clemency, there can be no deals, and there can be not much mercy. They're all going to be prosecuted. And I would anticipate it's going to look like it happened, like it did when it happened in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, I think, was a good example of what this will look like. Uh, November 4th, 2017, they rounded up in one day all the corrupt politicians, the Saudi royal family. They rounded up corrupt businessmen, arrested them all in one day. And we're probably going to see something like that here. Uh, there are going to be mass arrests, and these people are going to be held accountable. And Trump told the media today, oh yes, yes they are guilty of treason, and yes they're going to pay the penalty for it. So. There you go.